able to do quick ground attack explosions with a short cooldown, clearing trash has never been easier. Able to burst down bosses before they can even finish their opening lines, the Bolt Casters are the fastest dungeon clearing weapon in the game. By supplementing just enough attacks and shortened cooldowns, you'll be breezing through dungeons in under two minutes. Welcome to the Bolt Caster Speed Clearing Spotlight. For Bolt Casters, you will be using Explosive Bolt. This is what you will mainly use to clear trash mobs in one to three hits. For bosses, you will use Sundershot to weaken and lower their armor, doing burst damage, followed by Death Ward Climax, which will mostly kill every boss except for some epics and legendaries. For the passive, you will use Well Prepared, which allows you to spam more Q attacks and clear mobs faster. For the helmet, you'll use Spectre Hood, though this is optional, you do not absolutely need this, this only increases your armor's buff duration with Flash of Insight and the passive Quick Thinker. The reason we do not use Balanced Mind is because we already kill everything in 1-2 to two hits. There's no reason to do more damage. And we don't take damage. So the faster you can attack with Q, the better. For Chest Armor, we will use the Druid Robe. This is mandatory. The ability Obsessive Bursts will grant you 6% damage increased every time you use an ability. And you can use abilities every 1.5 seconds or so. The passive is aggression for more damage. The other passives don't really do anything for us. And because it's cloth armor, you receive a 40% damage increase anyway. So now this brings it to a 48%. And then 6 times 6 is 36. That's even more damage. You will be using any leather boot. It does not matter which one. However, if you are using tier 4, you must use artifact boots. Otherwise, you will not have the passive. The ability is refreshing sprint. When used, you will cut your cooldowns in half for a very short time, allowing you to shoot out more Qs than normal. And for the passive is Quick Thinker, again so we can use more Q attacks. For capes, I prefer the Limhurst cape because I go through dungeons so fast that I run out of mana. However, if you take your time or you want faster trash clear, the Thetford cape is great. If you want to kill bosses faster even though they melt instantly, you can use a Demon cape for that. Use stews when first starting out for more damage. Use soups or fish if you're taking lots of damage or being downed. Once you have high item power, lots of good gear, and you're crushing it, use an omelette for faster cooldown reduction so you can shoot out more cues. You do not need potions. Here's how the combo works. Press R to activate your chest piece, immediately followed by D. Then use F to run towards your enemy and spam the Q buttons. What this will do is stack up damage and allow you to shoot twice in a row at your opponent. Now, before this buff runs out, you need to shoot a Q at the ground, and this will increase the duration of which you have your damage buff. All you have the damage buff, simply shoot at enemies to kill them. Obviously. And before this buff runs out, press R again, and you will maintain your six stacks of buff. Then proceed through the dungeon, clearing everything. I, I didn't have my omelette up and running in that last clip, it's actually faster. So here's the combo for versus bosses. You want to open with R, D, now target the boss, press W, you're going to hit two Qs after this, then E, and they're dead. And that was way overkill, I didn't even get to finish casting E. That's a very easy boss though. This works on epic boss and some legendary bosses. Now, if you wanted to be fancy, you could throw a poison potion at it beforehand, but you don't need it. It's a waste of money. Bosses just melt with this combo. This build benefits greatly from shrine buffs. The red buff makes you one-shot most enemies and delete bosses. And the blue buff lets you spam more Qs, which is what this whole build is about, and regain your mana. Damn it. <laughs> Hate this buff. This buff doesn't do anything for us. We don't need it. That's it for the build guide. Let's clear the second floor together so you can see the full speed of this. I'm going to wait until I see my first enemy to activate my armor. There we go. Let's begin. And I missed my aim a little bit there. Also, there's a shrine sometimes down here in the corner. You'll learn this over time. 
And there it is, little hidden shrine. And we got the red buff. Let's go, let's go, let's do this. I, uh, I didn't reactivate my armor, by the way. I messed up. But you know what? We have the red buff. We don't need it. Now, here's the thing. We have a 33% chance, repeating, of course, to get another red buff from this shrine. Well, you know what? I'm not going to take it because my red buff currently is very high. There is no other build in the game that can clear this fast without stopping. Look at that. We just one-shotted that monster. And yeah, I know we have the red buff right now, but... Look, look at this. These things die so easy. Now, I know I'm supposed to queue this, but I don't need to queue it. I can just press E and delete it. It's dead. It's gone. Uh, grab the loot and keep moving. You want to make sure you kill the trash so you can get the treasure at the end. Look at that. Look at that. That big lava monster is dead. If an enemy has one hit to kill, you don't have to use your Q. You can just auto attack it. Look at this. You can clear entire rooms, no problem. Very easy. We're already at the boss. We, it's, we, it's been a minute and 30 seconds since I hit record. We're already at the boss. And I, I, I am missing, messing up. I am missing some of my shots. I am kind of goofing around. But look, look at this. I'm just going to W and E her. Our buff did run out, so this won't kill her. Oh, it did kill her. <laughs> Oh no, I'm in tier 8. These things do no damage. Right? Now, we gotta kill these so we can clear the chest and get the loot. Uh, before you go, I'm gonna go hunt down an epic boss, uh, or a legendary, and uh, show you how that fight goes. Alright, so I looked around for like an hour and I couldn't find any epic bosses, believe it or not. But I did want to show this off. Alright, so this boss is notorious for putting up a shield immediately when combat starts after it does its first attack and then it takes forever to kill you have to kill its little minion to lower its shield or you can just brute force it down but watch this guys watch watch how easy this boss is right i'm just going to shoot some cues at the ground and power my ass up and here we go he's gonna die before he even finishes his sentence see he's dead he's gone and uh i, I didn't uh, clear the dungeon so i can't open the chest sorry but hey it's the test realm anyway so oh no my tier 8.3 loot oh no it's the test realm that's why i have 576 million dollarinos and you can get all your tier h stuff you can play around if you think listen i i know what you're thinking you googled the fastest clearing build and it told you it was great axe I started the game with Great Axe, you know, because I, I googled it, I looked through the forums, I read the subreddits, I looked through the discords, and I I believed it. But look at the cooldown on this. Okay, this does, it says 409, oh, wait, this is buffed. We're on the buffed version. This says 496 with a cooldown of 3 seconds, okay? That's, uh, well, first off, let's, uh, let's just go here. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna go right here, we're gonna go to the tier 8, the flat tier 8, and look at the... Q damage, this is the Q, uh, 381 if they're further away, which, well, it's it's really wonky how it works. And now we're going to go to the crossbows, where are you at crossbow bros, there you are, and bolt caster. The Q here does 600. You can see the cooldown is even one second shorter. And I know what you're thinking, well what about, what about the whirlwind, what about the spin? This does more damage than the damn spin. This instantly deletes a boss. This spin does not. I don't even have enough mana to use it with no gear. That's so funny. Yeah, uh, axes are a big mana hog. <laughs> but uh, you can see here the damage. Like, do the math. It's like a thousand five hundred or something. And that's before, you know, or that's not counting armor and stuff. So trust me, guys, it's the fastest dungeon clear. I appreciate you watching. Uh, hit a hit a like like the you better like the video okay and uh, subscribe if you want to see more hit up the discord guys you see this guild here chads the chads alliance I, I tell everyone I've told people in videos you should make your own guild so you can go to the guild challenge points here and get your siphon energy okay uh, on live I'm actually like level six not two but this is the test realm again you can play around with it guys if you want to be part of the Chad's Alliance, hit me up, get in the Discord, join the Discord. We're, at, we, we're actually starting the Chad Gamers Guild, which is across all video games. So if you want based and red-pilled Chad gamers to play with, 
just go to the Discord, look at the questionnaire, fill out the questionnaire. If you answer it correctly, you'll be a Chad Gamer yourself, and we can have some epic fun times. All right, I appreciate you guys watching this. And uh, remember, Great Axe sucks. Don't use Great Axe for uh, solo speed clearing. It's not faster. Trust me, it's not. You can try it here on the test realm. Above the play button on the launcher, you can just change your realm to the test realm, right? You can unlock the whole Destiny board and play around with all of this stuff and do the math yourself if you don't believe me. It just got a billion silver. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And it doesn't even matter. And you could you could you could play the whole game like this and just just try things out. I'm telling you, this is the fastest clearing build. There is one way you can clear dungeons faster, just just for fact checking reasons, and that is with a seven out seven hundred out of seven hundred spec leather jacket, uh, the Spectre jacket. All right, because uh, once you max that out, that does more damage than Death Climax. Okay, this this shit right here. You fucking slap this on, and you put all your damage abilities, and you get a damage boots and, and helmet. And you just catch yourself on fire and run at the boss and you'll blow him up slightly faster. I found that I can clear dungeons about 15 to 20 seconds faster with a Spectre Jacket build with max spec. Uh, but the problem is with this Spectre Jacket is it's very expensive on live. And you need a one-handed weapon to use a 8.3 Crypt Candle, which is this bad boy right here. And that is about 55 million. I'm not going to make a build that costs... 70 million to clear 15 sec seconds faster. That's stupid. That's insane. No one would ever do it. I'm not. By by the time you max out your spec, you're going. You don't need to do dungeons anymore. You'll be a multi-millionaire with a ton of islands and a, a whole harem of girls, just you know, giving you fun times all day every day because you're such a Chad. Okay. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. No one donated, so I'm going to skip this in splash page. Just check out the next video if I ever make another video. For all I know, I could die after I upload. Who knows? Who knows? All right. As always, you based and red-pilled Chad gamers, be a bro and stay swole. Then activate your F key. Weird. La lag. Hello? Hello, game? <laughs> Fuck, what the hell happened? That is weird. There is a shrine over there, and I can't get to it. It will not let me go over there. What the heck is going on? Like, I can clearly attack towards it, so there, it... What the heck?